Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster, NurseRN.com, and one of the biggest questions I get asked by nursing students about dosage calculations is if this is something that they're going to be using on the job. And the short answer to this is yes. This is definitely something that you want to know as a nurse. It's one of those skills that you definitely want to take with you to the job. One reason is because most employers, whenever they hire on nurses, before you can even start working as a nurse, giving medications, you have to pass a dosage calculations exam. So you might have thought, hey, I'll never have to take another dosage calculations exam after nursing school and once I pass my boards. Well, unfortunately, yeah, you probably will because most employers will require you to pass it. And whenever you actually start working as a nurse on the floor, you definitely wanna make sure that you have this skill sharpened because it's gonna guide you and help protect you and your patients whenever you're administering medications. What's great is that on the floor there's a lot of safety checks that's going to help guide you with this, but in the end you want to make sure that you bust out your dosage calculation skills and make sure that you are giving what the physician ordered based on what you have on hand and what the patient really needs. For instance, like in some places, I don't know if it'll be like this wherever you work, pharmacy plays a huge role in this safety check because they will send you up like a bag of fluid and on it, it will actually tell how much to set the pump at or on your medication administration um, program on your computer, it will tell you that. But you want to you know, go back, you wanna look at what the doctor ordered, make sure that this actually matches up because it can be wrong. And I have seen errors with this before. And even at some places, they will have it, let's say you're giving a medication via an infusion pump. They will have a program set on the pump that's like a medication library and it will match up with the common dosages that are administered and that will help guide you with giving that medication. But again, we are the patients like last step before they actually get the medication. So you just wanna go back, you wanna double check, you want to do your math. And you even, with some medications, you have to go get another nurse to check it with you to make sure that the dosage is right. And just to give you an example with this, for instance, let's say you're administering heparin. Heparin is a blood thinner that we can give via an IV infusion. Well, with this, you have to regularly, depending on how the physician wants it ordered, you have to get PTT levels. So you draw blood, you get the result, you see what the patient's result is, and based on these parameters that you're given in, under a protocol, you will increase the drip or you'll decrease the drip or even have to turn it off based on that PTT result. And heparin is a weight-based medication. So you will have to use your dosage calculation skills to calculate you know, if you have to bolus them, if you have to increase the drip, drip, decrease it. So right there, you will be pulling back from nursing school with those dosage calculations skills. Now with all that said, I know that math is not everyone's favorite subject. Personally, math is not my favorite subject, science is, but you know, as a nurse, we have to know a little bit of math. So the thing is, is that if you are having trouble with this or this really does intimidate you, don't let it. Because one thing I've noticed with these dosage calculation problems is that they take practice. And you know, at first, whenever your program's introducing them to you, you'll probably be like, whoa, okay, what is this? I'm supposed to know this on top of everything else I'm supposed to know for nursing school as a nurse. But the thing is, is that you have to keep practicing them and working them and solving them. And eventually I promise it will click and you'll be like doing this in your sleep. <laughs> so don't give up and just keep persevering. Don't let it make you contemplate not going to nursing school or getting out of nursing school because I promise they do become easier over time. And I actually have a whole series up here where um, I work different types of problems with you and walk you step by step how to do it along with free quizzes that will help you sharpen this skill. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. And if you would like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.